Or just have alcohol over the table. This is a, we're like terrible, terrible parental figures. You know, we'll start it on that one. <laughs> so, no. uh, so welcome to the Ask USA show, the show where we answer the weird uh, questions that the lizard people have given us. Uh, yeah. And uh, and yeah, to get there. us started, uh, from our left here, we have... I'm John. And I'm Kyle. I'm Andrew. And I'm Mike, the wizard. Your wizard? Oh, I thought he was going to be normal this time. <laughs> You're a wizard? I'm a wizard, Harry. What kind of wizard? Uh, the, the, the kind you see in the streets, waving the signs... They're sign the, wizard. The one that like advertising free candy? Advertising <laughs> phone plans? Advertising the local new restaurant that opened down the way. Wizard way. <laughs> wizard way. Yeah. What is wizard cuisine? It's um mostly ramen. <laughs> mostly ramen? <laughs> wizards don't ha- make a lot of money. I didn't think Eastern European wizards would have been mostly Japanese. Now I'm just imagining it being served day. out of the back of a van. Mm. With a unicorn oh, painted on the side. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, they do have like the trench coats and stuff. So yeah. maybe maybe that's what that is. It's modern day I wizards. Think it's a robe, not a trench coat, though. Sure. That, it's that, it's, that it's a bathrobe. Sense, it's a bathrobe. It's sure. a bathrobe. Yeah. No, those are yeah. meth. Those are people who are on meth, not meth dealers. It's well, different. Well, when you're on it, who knows? You can't tell the difference. It's magic. I mean, I'll give it to you for $45. You can give me some meth. But you're selling me the meth. <laughs> Whose man is this? <laughs> Who are you? Well, anyway, so this is where we answer some stupid questions. We also have some stupid trivia and uh, some other questions from the audience. But otherwise, to so John, uh, let's get it started. Uh, what's your question? So, what is the biggest like advancement or cultural shift that humanity has ever had? Was it when we got out of trees? Was it the domestication of animals? Was it electricity? The internet? Just what was the big shift that you have? Before and after. Well, histor- historically, it would have been uh, farming. Like, it would have been actual, like, planned farming, not just hunter-gatherer. Yeah, so agriculture. Mm-hmm. Not modern agriculture, but yes, agriculture in general. So agriculture, yes. yeah. Um, actually, so I've watched some things recently that the I would say that the, the real one is probably the uh, HVAC, uh, AC. Uh, the the there was a whole thing that was talking about the technology for uh, air conditioning and a lot of that has transformed the world. But if I had to just pick one, I'd say the microwave. Yeah, because now you but can make food is. and then have it again later, but not near as good. I mean, I would say the internet, but we haven't like had wars over the internet yet. Oh. We've had wars over the internet, but not like those kinds of wars. We haven't we haven't nuked portions of the internet yet. Well, there are things that have happened on the internet that have been considered like war crimes that we've don't understand well enough to actually go after another country for. Well, we could, but yeah, we don't want to fight Russia yet. Yeah. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> like if I have, if I had to think of one thing that pushed us into the modern age, it was probably the steam engine. Well, we don't really use it anymore, but I can see like it was a step. We still use it in power generation. Yeah. I mean, it's every, every morning uh, I, well, I use steam. Yeah. For a shower. Well, he's he isn't incorrect though, but like every single fossil fuel generation, like generator that we use uses fossil fuels to burn, and then it makes steam out of the water. Even like nuclear, then, well, nuclear then, power does the same. Nuclear thing. power does the same yeah. thing. Yeah. So steam is technically the thing actually making power because it's most electricity. Efficient. So that mm-hmm. so John making this drink because he boiled some water. It's true. He, he was an I made innovator. Steam. Yeah, yeah, he made steam. Uh, you are a brilliant scientist. I have changed the world. <laughs> a mixologist, if you will. Yeah, but that's a that's a hard question though because there's there's like weird inventions that uh, I think have brought about other ones that you might say are bigger, but it's only because of, like the stepping stone that it came mm-hmm. from before that that came before that became before that. Yep. Because, I mean, if you go by far enough, it's fire. But. Yeah. I was going to say soap. Soap? Just the soap, soap, germ theory, hygiene, the idea that you shouldn't smell. Well, the smelling isn't as big of an issue. That's more of a cultural thing. But, the you know, not dying from infection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, cutting infant mortality to, like, making it not the average. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And also yeah. not smelling because smelling apparently is, is <laughs> it's it's not the main thing, but it's, it's very, a side effect. If you just very soap on a regular not basis. I yeah. know I know I know that there's a thing about like people living or whatever, but like if I'm going to the mall, I want to make sure I'm not having to wear a mask for other reasons. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've watched entire specials just based on like the invention of sewage systems and how revolutionary and huge that was mm -hmm. for cities. Yeah. I, I really like living in an age where shit goes away as <laughs> soon as it's created. I don't have to have a bucket that sits in the corner until I have to take well, care of it. Well, you don't have to, but... It's a possibility, but not one I, I pursue. I, I like a working toilet. Mm -hmm. I think I, I watched something about what they used to do, and this guy would just walk around with, like, a bucket, and he would wear a huge cloak, and then you would pay him, and he would hold up his cloak to give you some privacy while you took your took did your business... And then you, you would you would uh, take the bucket and deal with it for you. That's Wait, the, there are two ways. One a is walking public toilet. That yeah. makes sense. One is you walk into an alleyway and he faces the other way and he does the cloak. And the other <laughs> way is he just wraps the cloak <laughs> around you. That's for an extra fee. Yeah. <laughs> For the extra added comfort of the cloak the, around your shoulders. You get privacy and a hug. That's the kind of guy, though, that you could see, like, being, like, president. Because every nobody would fight him on it. Because, like, no? but you remember what you did, like, a year and a half ago? And they'd be like, damn oh, it. damn, you got my vote. Don't, please don't tell anybody. <laughs> don't tell people about my booze. I know about your mole. <laughs> Oh. Free hugs. Yeah. It's a lie. It's a <laughs> lie. <laughs> Free cloaked hugs. Oh, no. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful things. It's the well, anyways, Kyle, what was your question? Um, it definitely, I, I hope it doesn't lead into um, bathroom business, but it was actually, um, what is, I have very, very like, salient memories of some of my most favorite meals for this time of year, which is like the cold weather. We in Minnesota, we were here down already in the 20s and 30s. Like, but you always have that comfort food that maybe your grandma made or you maybe your mom made. But like, what is that comfort food that you identify the most with like the cold weather climate? You grew up in Kentucky, so it's not probably as cold. But like, it gets like the cold. winter. Yeah, it's the it, ice on the road. Yeah, snow. so it's it's cold enough to at least do that. But like, what is that comfort food that you know that you're craving for about this time of year? Um. I can't say Ninja Turtle Pies, can I? Why? <laughs> it's it's not a, probably not a winter meal, though. I mean, it's just there. Um, <laughs> they're year-round special. Um, if I... Mm, that's a really good question. Somebody else answer that question first. I can tell you now, like, just actually a nice hot cup of coffee. Like, it's a food. When you were a child? A food? I guess technically, yes. I mean, no, but like, Did you see how we ended up? No, but most of the stuff that my parents <laughs> cooked when I was younger are not something that I really ever have now. It's like I have a mm. different diet. They cook different things. You know, they're trying to feed a family of six, and you know, now I'm just a family of one. So, or two, I guess you're here. But, the, uh, but it ends up being that there's, um, like, I don't eat a lot of the same things. So, like, I, I would be in more of a category if I was going to pick something like that. But to me, like, if it's a cold day and I'm just going to sit down and I want to just – Relax. To me, just a hot cup of coffee is is one of the most comfortable things I could have. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm just I imagining mean, like eight works. year old you, <laughs> yeah, as a child in, in the middle of the carpet, just vibrating from all the black coffee he's had. It's like this is the most fantastic, 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 fantastic ever. Fantastic. ever. Fantastic. I'm using my coffee. coffee. It's uh, toffee. It's I toffee. mean, I'm trying to think of a few things. My family really didn't do much like special food during the holidays. I remember a lot of candy. Mm -hmm. Like there was always um, lots of sweets around during the holidays, which was nice because that wasn't the case most of the year. You didn't have like cinnamon rolls made in the oven fresh when it's really cold out or a special type of chili no. or, <laughs> a, chili or, a, or, or chili. a fantastic hot dish that, you know, your grandma would make it's when you go for there for Christmas. Hot dish isn't real. So the one that actually that I just thought of was pistachio cookies. Pistachio cookies. Yeah, my, my parents yeah, used yeah. to make that in the winter season, like for holidays and stuff. Mm -hmm. And if it, it they're hard to get right, but if you hit that just perfect mark for them, oh my god, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. So good. So that, many cookies. That did jog a memory as far as cookies are concerned. Snickerdoodles. Oh, yeah, that's my, a good one. Yep. My mom would always make snickerdoodles during Ooh, the holidays. From scratch? Yeah. Nice. So those aren't those aren't terribly easy to make either. They're just like a sugar cookie with a topping, aren't but they? It, but it takes yeah. molasses though. Mm -hmm. Like you have to like actually Source molasses, and you have to do a topper to it. It's not no. just a normal cookie. You can buy molasses at the store. 
not my going out. You can buy snickerdoodles at the store. You said you made it from <laughs> yeah, scratch. Right. My favorite were always the molasses cookies. <laughs> yeah, molasses yeah. cookies. Yeah, I agree. Not yeah. the ginger snaps, but no. same kind of flavor, but mm. thick and chewy. Mm -hmm. mm, those, yep. those ones that like it actually had takes effort to bite into. Yeah, and then with the like cracks on the top, just because mm. that's how they that's how they cook. With yeah. a little bit of powder, powder like sugar on top. Yeah, too, like, you, like the green or the red powdered sugar, or like sprinkles because, well, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, like, that with a cup of coffee is good. But if I had to say a comfort food, it wouldn't be a cookie. It would be just uh, egg noodles with buttery breadcrumbs and then uh, some sort of a cream sauce meat. So either Swedish meatballs or like a paprikash, mm, just yeah. a chick. <laughs> it's like coffee, Swedish meatballs coffee. are really good. Coffee. Yeah cookie and the simple and then you're like mm, well here's this like an entire sentence for a meal a yeah. quartered hen <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> sauced from the plains of england yes, yes. <laughs> I, I was stuffed with roe i was waiting for everybody to say cookies all cookies i'm like well nobody had holiday brussels sprouts i guess <laughs> no no and then you finish off my, with a my mother would well. say that she <laughs> loves brussels sprouts and like american cheese slices like over top of brussels sprouts that's, that's, that's her thing. That's she's wrong, but it's her thing. No, there's a comfort food doesn't have to be good food. It's that thing that yeah. it's it's triggering that thing in your brain, that nostalgia that just hits that right box, so yeah. that it just puts you back to your childhood. That's a comfort food. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely packs of instant ramen for me. Mm. Dry. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> really, I ate a lot of ramen you, as a kid. It's not right. It just isn't. It's Is just it? not. It was it because your parents bought all the ramen, or well, it's what they could afford. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's what they bought. Dry ramen, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm thinking like the the commercial for like the it's like ramen in the morning, ramen in the ramen, ramen, ramen on a bagel, ramen, ramen, ramen on a bagel. <laughs> I went ramen's on the menu. You're having ramen all the time. Yes, yes. <laughs> you have a high sodium. <laughs> Please God, your heart, sir. Uh, oh. Well, anyway, so my question was one. Actually, I had a different question, but then I didn't like it. So I had a, one that I actually just thought of downstairs. So I'm just going to go with that oh, one. Use that mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So we, uh, it was talking about uh, home improvement because Cal brought in home improvement. And for anybody uh -huh. that's, yeah, probably uh -huh. like younger than 20, uh -huh. probably has no idea what that is. So, um, but they, they used to do a home improvement. They would do like the, the man's um, stuff where they would, the over engineered, overly manly, a uh, very cliche manly thing from like the 90s. And they would do the man's kitchen and the man's bathroom where it was like a microwave that ran on near nuclear power that could cook a, a potato in 30 seconds. A man-sized microwave that you could stand in while wearing a suit. <laughs> yeah. So While cooking a baked potato. So it's stuff like that. So it's like this, this over-engineered, overly manly type thing. And my thought is, so they had the man's kitchen and the man's uh, bathroom. Is there something else that you would think would be a lot of fun or just that should exist that would be the over Overly engineered and manly thing. The man's hockey rink. What, what would be in the man's hockey rink? Large pucks. Large pucks. Overly sized pucks. You would have <laughs> skates that were greased. <laughs> all the all the pucks were F 150s Yeah, and then you just have like you have skates that have been sharpened by a professional and that are greased with like, I I don't know what's the fastest grease in the world. Whatever is lightning? Grease lightning. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's lightning that's grease, John. Oh. Okay. So whatever that is, and then so you could literally just it'd be like the it'd be like uh, the mighty ducks too. I'm trying and trying, it's just you spilled everywhere. <laughs> we have the emergency paper towels just for Kyle. But the uh the it's like the mighty ducks where they just shot across the arena. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just imagining this room with giant pucks that are like crushing people and people, other people in skates that just won't stop. That Everyone's is, dead in yes, your room. That's great. That's the best man's <laughs> hockey rink. Mm -hmm. They can't stop or they, they like explode or that something. Was, and, that was the whole yeah. reason behind the man's kitchen, the man's garage. It was it was like literally a death trap. It was just like, so, it was always a death trap. Searching oh. for death. I'm yeah, just imagining the man's garden. <laughs> and you is? just have like automated mm, grabbers yeah. that just move food or move the vegetables as soon as they're ready right onto the grill, which <laughs> automatically just turns on just corn <laughs> is ready. <grab. laughs> 
I want you, you've got like a huge farm machines for like 12 feet. Yes. <laughs> you've just you've got a combine to take down that four foot square of corn. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the man's hedge ma- like hedge cutter. And it's just like, it puts out a warning two minutes beforehand for all children to leave the area. <laughs> it's just like, it just has a chainsaw on like a rope. <laughs> just spins in a circle. <laughs> Um, I'm just imagining the man's house and it's just like a normal house, except it's a different house that the children and the wife don't know about <laughs> <laughs> underneath, <laughs> underneath the other house. It couldn't be underneath the other house or it could be like 20 miles in a direction that, uh, yeah. just one city over. <laughs> yeah. One city exactly. over. We're the different family. <laughs> the different family. <laughs> Her name is mistress. Yes. Oh. It's convenient. This turned out sad. Oh, the one that I thought of was the man's computer. Uh, I want a computer that it turns on with a ripcord mm. uh, yes. and it's it's processor and it's cooling is hooked up with a chain and it has a pedal that when you need the extra boost, <laughs> you just hit the pedal. And I want to hear that thing going and it's got to <laughs> shake and whatever comes out of it needs to be the blackest smoke <laughs> possible. Right in the what's, living room. What's yeah. causing the smoke? I don't care. <laughs> it's the CPUs. You you tuck them in, and then you just burn up your CPU yeah. and you you replace it like a battery. Yeah, and it, it all the entire engine just runs on thermal paste. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just thermal paste injection ports. You just yes. have the yeah. Motorola. You just or have no. the overclock oh, no. pedal. Over- yeah, yeah, that's, what, that's what I want. I want, yeah. I want, the, the, I want the pedal that you and I want to have. Oh. I want to be able to change gears mm. on this thing. Yes. Oh boy, I'm going into 4K now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, you got 1080 in the <laughs> Oh god, you didn't put in the clutch. It's grinding. <laughs> oh god, there goes the GPU. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Shearing teeth. <laughs> Just all these kids are used to their automatics these days. They got to get a manual. Yeah, <laughs> a manual computer. I'm just imagining you lying face down dead and like what happened <laughs> he got the man's computer carbon monoxide boy. <laughs> hey that's a good way to go he was so used to a push button he start on a computer he just didn't know how to handle it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and if and when you go to get a new computer you have to take that one out back <laughs> no <laughs> put it down. <laughs> oh um, lassie i remember anyway so michael what was your question all right this is a question oh, i brought wait. up before but i thought it'd be fun to bring it up uh during a podcast. So uh, does anybody else agree with me that Dorothy was the villain in Wizard of Oz? She yes. murdered. She absolutely yes, was. she 100%. Well, um, no. well wait a minute. Okay, she, the house murdered. I don't think that was her fault. No, but like hitting somebody with the ha- that she was driving the house that was she was it's what's manslaughter in the world manslaughter across the board sure but then but she stole she have- the slippers off the dead body no, they were she didn't. Given they were her. given to they her. They were given. Yeah, but if somebody is like stole something and then handed it to you, and they're like, "Hey, that's not yours. That's mine," and you don't give them <laughs> back. <laughs> well, I mean, but the sharp people gave. The mob her. was telling her, "Don't <laughs> listen to the green lady." Yeah, yeah don't listen to the well, green lady. It depends. You don't know the laws in Wonder Whatever Land. Well, apparently, whatever they are, they allow you to. Uh, go to a person's house with the intent on stealing their broom <laughs> and then killing them inside their own home. Accidentally. Yeah. It, it does, manslaughter. It, it's reverse it's castle different. laws. Yes. Castle Just laws. Walk, walk into somebody's house and pour water over them until they melt. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> that day, they were on the purge. Yes. Oh. That's what it was. Munchkin purge. <laughs> Follow the they other big were... road. Follow the other big road. The red road. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. What? It's covered in red now. She, she was, was just... high on opium. Just poppies the entire time. There was just. She was. She was talking yeah. to a scarecrow and a lion. Yeah, I know. She, she's definitely a liar because she's supposed to be like some from some farm place in the middle of, of whatever. And I think and it was with, Kentucky. Yeah. With those. No, no Kansas. 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 Uh, but with those shoes, yeah. those shoes, she's either blowing her money on things that she shouldn't need to, or she's lying. Oh my God. When the, f- when the wizard, the con man wizard is mm-hmm. the man with the authority and you're going to him because you want to ride on his magical balloon to bring you back to reality. There's, there's something wrong. It was the twenties. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> How does that make sense? It was the 20s. That's when wizards were relevant. Yes. <laughs> and big balloons. Yes. What would a 1920s wizard look like? The Wizard, uh, of, Thomas Thomas wizard of Oz. Yeah. Kind of chubby. Thomas, actually, Thomas Edison or like Tesla would be about as close to a yeah. wizard. Yeah. Actually, no, 1920s was after Tesla. It was, yes. Because he was like 1900. Well, when like, was Edison when? killing the elephants? Um, I would have guessed that was like 18, 18. No, it was or... electrocuting elephants to show, yeah, Tesla is oh, dangerous, so was, I'm going to uh, use his electricity to most, kill some elephants. Yeah, yeah. most, yeah. but it didn't work. Um, it was like the 1880s. Well, it, it, it killed 1800s. people. Yeah. Most it of, uh, most of Tesla house. stuff was, uh, I believe, between 1900 and 1910, because that was when a lot of the World Affairs popped mm. up, and that was when a lot of his big stuff popped in. Yeah. So, yeah, I was probably around there. So, yeah, the, he, would be, he would be actually a kind of OG wizard for 1920. Tesla is and still or was and still is the OG wizard. Like he, he made like contraptions that people still don't understand. Yeah. But the, a lot of it's in writing now. So yeah, yeah. That a lot it, there's, schematic. there's some of it that's a little hard to follow up on and like his wireless power. I mean, yeah, if you shove enough electricity into a room and cause cancer, you, yeah, you can get away oh, with it. Yeah, no, but he, like the resonance frequency yes. boxes that just yeah. made buildings shake. Yeah. He had one. That's, of them. That's the he cool was, one. Though. Yeah. He did. He determined like there's two fun stories of that. So he d- apparently had a device that he put up to like a metal pole that was apparently hooked up all the way to the ground to the city. And he caused like a minor earthquake in the city because of a small little resonance device he had hooked up there and they came to his place because they knew if something weird happened it was Tesla. <laughs> yes. And what have you done this but I don't know how much proof there is on that but he also had scared the entire world at one point because he had stated that he had figured out the resonance frequency of the earth mm-hmm. and that <laughs> and basically he was saying that he would destroy the planet and but then he'd come out and say like yeah it's like one and a half years or something for the resonance and it would mm-hmm. take like centuries of somebody just pounding into the earth at that exact moment over and over again. Nobody would ever do that. No, but Tesla knew about it. No, it was because it would also, there's too many things that would change. I know, I but like, yeah. but, but the thing is Tesla knew about it. Mm-hmm. But that guy was crazy. So a lot of these stories are, are fantastical, but I know that most of them are 80% true, but there's probably yeah. like a 20% of just everybody making out a little bit bigger. But Resonant is a thing, and it is very powerful. Mm-hmm. So it's, you can't say it's all a lie. I right. mean, uh, without Tesla, we may or may not have AC electricity. And without AC electricity, if we had to rely completely on DC, our infrastructure would look much different okay. and convoluted. My thought is any, look worse. anything look that's like, worse. anything that is possible is going to eventually happen. So Tesla making it wasn't that somebody else couldn't come up with it. It's just that he probably did, he did it first and he did it probably earlier than anybody else was going to. Well, so but, if you, but if you build all the, all the infrastructure for it, yeah, it's, going, it's going to, you're going to build yourself into a corner and yeah. we didn't do that with DC. Thankfully. Yeah. No, he came in at a good time to make sure it was done right. Yes. And Edison, then he got screwed over. Edison but. tried to stop it. He wanted everything to stay DC. Well, yeah, because he, he makes money. Yeah. Because that's how he's making money. Yeah. yeah. And Tesla could have made a ton of money until he sold it off to Westinghouse and then like they went bankrupt. So he lost. He could have been richer than any person in the world. He and didn't really care about money. He just cared about his life. No, he wanted, mo- he wanted money so that he could make more cool things. Yes. But then he instead like ended up just helping pigeons because he had been selling off patents because he had no, nothing left in the world. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine uh, him getting like a, a government contract these days? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I, I drink all of it almost. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even know you wanted some. You should have said something um, earlier. Sharing. Anyway. Sharing, Kyle. Uh, was, yeah, did, did we answer your question? We went off on Tesla for a while yeah. there. Dorothy is. What was your yeah. question? Dorothy is manslaughter. Dor- yeah. Dorothy is manslaughter. Dorothy yes. is evil. Dorothy she definitely. She's people. getting like twenty years. So yeah, for sure. So more fizzing so much. Uh, anyway, so the second part we have here is uh, is something that we call two second trivia, and which is uh, I'm going to ask uh, all these guys, these fine gentlemen here, um, except Michael, uh, yeah, a question, and it is they have two seconds to answer it. If they don't answer anything, it's zero points. If they uh, get it correct, it's two points, and if they say anything at all, it's one point. Uh, so uh, I will start with John here. I got two sets of three questions each. So, and there was going to be a small little bell noise that plays. And that bell noise means your Stop. time is up. What so, do I get when I win? Um, Same thing you got win? last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he, so far, Michael is two, two and oh. It's true. Yeah. I won um, one, but we don't uh, remember that. So it's no, fine. No, I don't think. Oh, did you? Yeah. You, no. Yeah. But that was different because those were easier questions. I gave you the like you, you I gave you the what is a crayon made out of? Yes, he did. He did do that. <laughs> yes, but I was proud, Argo. Now I feel bad. Okay. What so. color is blue? <laughs> <laughs> uh, green and red. Oh, all right. So, uh, John, uh, your first question: The term soccer does not originate in America. 
The word is from Britain, where it was derived from a short form of what? Punch her in the face. <laughs> Punch her in the face? Yeah, soccer. It's, it is Britain. Oh, it's it's Britain. It. Yes. Oh, oh. He was more clever than that. Pow, right in the kisser. I was going to ask why you're, why, why suddenly it's like you're only punching women, but okay, that doesn't Sock make sense. Hurt. Yeah. yeah. Domestic yeah. violence. Yep. Right off the bat. Oh, all all right. sports are based off domestic violence. Hooliganism. This is actually one that I, we, when we were on our way to Cider Fest, I ended up reading about and I brought up and I thought it was interesting. It's actually originally, I think, an acronym, but it was shortened from Association Football, which kind of makes sense. I don't know. If you say it in some British accent, it might sound different too. I couldn't say that in a British accent. They probably include a bunch of other words. So yeah, Michael's the British one. I'm British. Mm, no. <laughs> so uh, your second question uh, is, uh, oh, I got to read this one in my head here. Um, okay. So uh, <laughs> coprastestophobia is the fear of what? Procrastination. Procrastination. No, uh, but close. It's uh, the fear of constipation. <laughs> I can't poop yet. I'm not ready. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Coprastistophobia. That I, is what it is. Oh, says. because of copra. Coprast yes. is copra oh. is poop. <laughs> yes. I gotta go take a copra. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go take a copra. <laughs> I like copra lights, sir. What? Coprophilia. Wait, cop what? Coprophilia? What we don't that do that here. Yeah, not here. But no. no that don't feel the copra. No, nowhere. Don't do well. Only if you get permission. It's that oh, guy with the robe that Michael was talking about. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh. He does stuff with your poop after he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So your third question. In 2009, Scottish scientists, in their search for the Loch Ness Monster, instead found 100,000 what? E.T. E games. E.T. games. <laughs> you might not be wrong. <laughs> well, you know, actually, that no, but. Uh, <laughs> that was in Arizona. But uh, but not that far off. Uh, it was golf balls. Yeah, that's Scotland. Yeah, I just yeah. I think like I'm kind of curious. Like they're just looking around. Like <laughs> what is that out there? And then they they it's a bunch of golf balls floating around, like pretending to be Loch Ness. Wait, do you know if this was one hundred thousand golf balls in like one spot, or like they were dredging the Loch Ness and oh we found a golf ball. Uh, there oh we found a golf ball and they just did that on hundred thousand times and never found a Loch Ness monster. Uh, they were in a union. <laughs> well the we found some are? no the the scientists. Well we oh. found something today. It was a golf ball, but that's the work for today. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, sure yes. <laughs> That's yeah, what the but, union says. Time oh, to go oh, home. It's where I hit eight hours. I got to get out of here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Loch Ness Monster is like just like one blue. Like, no. <laughs> um, yeah, some context in that would be great. But and I think I read some, but I forgot it already. Uh, so uh, John's got three points, right? Yeah. OK, yes. Kyle. Hey, are you ready? <laughs> yes. OK, your first question. What is the technical name for the hashtag symbol? Uh, slash. Slash? No. Well, you just gave me that answer. You're not going to think of anything. That's the whole point of this. Well, it's a slash. Like, now I'm thinking. I should have of, said haberdash. The pound sign? No, it, well, pound, said. No, pound, pound sign, sign. Is, is another different name. The actual technical name uh, is an octothorpe. Ah, an I actually octothorpe. knew that one. Thorpe. I yeah. thought you would have known that one. An octothorpe. No, why would I know that? Because it's a weird word. It's it's fun. It's it not. Uh, it's, it's octothorpe is closer to octo oct to Nigerian than anything else. It's wow. not a word. It's not that somebody, is a word. Somebody's got his word a day calendar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that one because it means old people. It means oh. 80 year old. <laughs> it means 80 year old. <laughs> it, means, uh, it means somebody who's old. Like, like centigenarian is a hundred year old. Yes. Um, yeah, that would make sense. Makes it would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, you did that actually on purpose. That no, I did it. Latin puns. Um, Say the question. All right, your second question. The U.S. Supreme Court has its own private what? Bathrooms. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. You said it fast enough. Ding. D ding, yes. Uh, maybe. <laughs> um, <laughs> they have to. They have their own private, like, cloak poop man that comes yes. with their bucket. <laughs> they don't need him. They just poop under the cloaks they have. <laughs> <laughs> they just stand over a bucket. <laughs> you never see them leave. They just stare off in the distance and they have that, like, that face that a baby does when it's pooping in its diaper. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, it's just like, 
<laughs> it's wrong, but I want the answer to be decoder ring. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Their own no. club penguin accounts. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, it, I, I'm guessing Ruth Bader Ginsburg would definitely use this one. It's a basketball court, and it is apparently called the highest court in the land. <laughs> <laughs> no! That's not real. You guys just have to joke. No, I'm not saying. kidding. I, I want to see the Supreme the Court, highest play, court the, in the pl- play the Harlem Globetrotters. Could you imagine the broken bones coming from the Harlem Globetrotters? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that, no, now that Scalia is no longer on the court, it, it would be a little mm-hmm. more fair, but... Yeah, that w- that would be rough. That would be rough. I do want to see the Harlem Globetrotters just pop up in like the traditional like judges gown <laughs> <laughs> and like, <laughs> and they're just like jumping around. And then I want to see <laughs> Ruth Gator Binger just like does a three sixty flip over them all and like. No, they're just using gavels instead of basketballs. That just sounds whoosh. like that sounds like Space Jam except Ruth Bader Ginsburg doing a dunk over Bugs Bunny. The next Space Jam. <laughs> I'd watch. That'd that. be great. That'd be great. So they're trying to teach kids about like law and they just bring in the supreme court with space i am jam. a bill i'm just a bill but let me see you show me to do a sick dunk <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> like there's three branches of government watch me do a flip <laughs> watch me do a flip <laughs> they bring back all the dead justices they bring in taft that'd be great yeah i'd watch it ghost Amazing. ghost basketball ghost the highest taft. court in the land was it the last question or was it the second last no, question? No, that, that was your second, okay. second question. Well, the second to last of the middle question. It's both oh. the second to the first. So um, your next question. The Anglo, Anglo-Zanzibar Anglo War of 1896 is generally considered to be the shortest war in history. How long was it? 14 days. 42 hours? Mm-mm. What? The shortest war in recorded history? The shortest war in history. I mean, that's... Oh, in pro- history, history. Yeah. That's going to... Uh. Yeah. I'm going to say You're uh, wrong. A, a, a half hour. Actually, not not that far off. 38 minutes. Okay. okay. I want to know. It's like some guy that just stood up and they're like, we're going to fight back. And then somebody just gets shot. And they're like, you know what? I take that back. <laughs> I'm good. I didn't know you guys were bringing bullets. In 1896. <laughs> no, it's Zanzibar. They brought so, cannons. I was about to say, oh, it says yeah. Anglo something else. It's just, it, like. Yeah, it England means- versus the East. Or the. Yeah, the east coast of Africa. Yeah, so they're like, we're going to be, they showed up in force, and then England just fired one can, and they're just like, okay, maybe, we, maybe we made a mistake. Yeah. How about we have a, we, we can talk about this. <laughs> I, I want to see, I, I'm thinking that there probably was like one in Canada that was shorter, and so somebody's like, your, your mother is ugly, and it's like, you take that back to war, and he's like, oh, I apologize, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm like, 38 seconds. Oh, they are the French, descendants of the French. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, for the next question here, we got some Michael questions. You ready, Michael? The returning champion. Yeah. He's got, you have to get some right, because as of right now, you got three and three, so there's a tie. So your first question, Michael, what was Bubble Wrap's original purpose? Uh, Sealing things. Sealing things? Yeah. Like, what would you put it on the ceiling for? Uh, For fun, because you pop it. They're fun to pop. But if it's on the ceiling, you have to like jump to yeah, get you to Yeah, you got to pop them, but that just enhances the challenge. Times were tough back then. I could imagine. I could it imagine. Was the 70s. I don't know. It could have been a toy. Somebody's know. like, well, why don't we just put it on the floor? And they're like, oh. <gasps> I could imagine them just being a toy initially. Mm. Uh, no, it was for 3D wallpaper. Oh. <laughs> that makes it more disappointing. <laughs> that is it? sad. That's the 70s. Yeah, I could probably see. Well, I can see it in the seventies. Yeah, but if they colored it, it wasn't clear yeah. or something. Could and then you, I could see it being that they're just using a weird shape. Could you imagine half to pop it though, and half of them would be? That's probably why they had yeah. to stop. Yeah, no, I've heard. The kids, I've heard that the job that requires the most self control is working at the bubble wrap factory because mm-hmm. you can't pop any of them. Because if you do, it, it it's not complete. I would go insane. Actually, yeah, like yeah. I would actually have trouble. Like it would, it would, it would hurt me. Turn over as so a high. human being. You need to have the. I would just sit spread. there. You need a de-stress locker that just, here's bubble wrap, <laughs> here's some company approved. One. Here's the trimmings. Yes. <laughs> Go nuts. The ones that failed oh, uh, for, for quality assurance, yeah. and, the, and they, like, yeah. already had some pre-popped. Mm-hmm. They're just like, this is the fun room, and you just have, like, this is the daycare. But they don't even need to leave kids anywhere. Just put them in there. I mean, they yeah. get lost a little bit. It's like basically Amazon College. Yeah, it's like the ball Except pit. the bubble wrap. It's, yeah, it's, oh, that would probably be a very messy ball pit. Nobody should yeah. clean that one mm-hmm. out. Like, it was clear when we got in here, but. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Michael. Your second question. Before eating his first cookie, what was Cookie Monster's real name? Uh, Mr. Blue Man. 
Okay, but, <laughs> but did he perform in Vegas? He did. He was part of the Blue, <laughs> he was a blue he Man was the, Group. Part of the Blue Man Group. No, he yeah. was a founding member of the blue, <laughs> the blue Man Group. He's just up there on stage going, Cocaine. And then they <laughs> beat on the drums. <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> so, actually, the interesting thing about this one is his name came about only after they said he was no longer eating cookies. And it was somebody that it was doing like the thing, I guess, was asked, like, uh, and brought up that his name beforehand was Sid with an S. <laughs> Sid. Yes. It's like the child no. from Toy Story. Toy Story. Yes. Just no. He's got just dismembered dolls in the back. And is the he, only thing that distracts him from that is cookies. Is he still the veggie monster to this no. day? No, he's, he's still, still the cookie monster. Cookies, cookies is a sometimes food. Cookies is a sometimes food. No, sometimes, sometimes is now. <laughs> oh, now. <laughs> he does uh, still eat nom, 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 It's nom. not the same. He was great before. Because uh, so he's supposed to eat nothing but cookies. I mean, I can understand why. It was why. the 90s. It was a different time. Yeah, it was a very, that was good enough for him. Better time when safety wasn't important. It was. It was mm-hmm. good enough for him. Yes, it was. Um, so, Michael, your third question. What is the medical term for a gurgling stomach? <laughs> what language was that? That was a medical. Uh, that was English. It was just Latin. No, it sounded like something from like Star Trek. Every, everything medical is uh, Latin. He's not wrong. It sounded like Actually, Klingon. 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 Or something. Actually, yeah. So the actual term is uh, barbarigmus. That so that close. was actually not that far <laughs> off. <laughs> it was in That's there somewhere. That's what I said. <laughs> it sounds, it's spelt like it sounds your stomach is making. Oh. Uh, all right. So, spew. Well, so we're all tied. Oh, so yeah. that's like you got nothing. Yeah. All right. Um, wow. All right. So, John, I got your next set here. Liechtenstein is the world's largest producer of what? Uh, fish. Fish. They produce fish? <laughs> it's a landlocked country, so they can't <laughs> fish. <laughs> they can't just find them. They have they to have, make them. They have underground fish. It's fine. It's they imagining. build them. Yes, in the mines. Yeah. The fish mines. <laughs> just imagining fish dating sites is like, so meet local fish and make fish to help lift inside. <laughs> I want to see. Oh, God, I've been catfished. It's, it's not a fish at all. It's cheese, isn't it? No, I'm thinking though in the mines, like they're just like they're whacking at the wall and like just fish come out of the wall and <laughs> just, just put them in the bucket. No. Boys, we hit a salmon vein. We're going to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oil and just shooting. Yeah, it's just out of the water. <laughs> We're rich. It's like the Italians with their EVOO mines. Yes. We're fish. We're fish. We're fish. We're fish. Okay, so the the next question, John, I Wait, have what, for was you. The <laughs> <laughs> what was the answer? Was it cuckoo clocks? No, was it chocolate? Guys, you was know it what? I, don't even, I really don't care what the answer is. I want it to be fish. Uh, okay. but no, it it's, is it's fal- not better than fish. It's not better than fish. It's what? false teeth. Oh. That's not nearly as fun. They both start no. with I mean, that's true. You hit a wall and t- false teeth fall out of it. That's <laughs> that's disturbing. Fish. <laughs> Why would you hit a man named Wall? Well, Wall's a popular last no, name I, in Liechtenstein. If, if, <laughs> if you hit a vein of teeth that comes flying out, yes, you just landed in hell. Yes. Let, well, that or you landed in the catacombs of France. Mm. No, the catacombs Either of Either way, it's probably a crime. Eh, you can use it as a construction material. Just build a house out of teeth. Mm. It's like mm. the the pig that made his house out of wolf skulls. It wasn't sturdy, but it sent a message. <laughs> <laughs> Too sure. All right. So, th- yes, your actual next question now. In 1919, the city of Boston was flooded with 2.3 million gallons of what? Molasses. I knew that one. Yeah, actually, he got that one. I yes, that one it was well. molasses. Do you know any context on that uh, one? Three people died. <laughs> like yes. drowned in molasses? Yes. Beca- you can't swim in that. <laughs> no, no, no. You, no. Yeah, there was a horrific accident where uh, I think it was a, it was a, a it was either aluminum or it was a iron. Yeah, something uh, just corroded yeah some, something had corroded and then it burst and then it just let loose so much molasses that it it drowned people inside the apartments nearby yeah and that was slightly after teddy roosevelt instituted to all of those health and safety things so yes. they couldn't reuse it again no they oh, could not apparently actually when i was reading up for some question on this there was another one in europe or in britain that there was the same thing happened with beer that you can swim in that not- you can swim in mm-hmm. but you're going to be drunk and you're going to be happy yeah <laughs> As a man, I do wish that would be... That's one of my top five ways to die. Top five? What are some other ones? (laughs) I can't say here. Oh, yeah. I just imagine... Snoo is death by (laughs) snoo snoo. 
I'm just oh, imagining right. pelvises. Oh, oh, it's like the, oh. <laughs> uh, the, the joke about the guy, the guy in the beer factory who died by drowning in the vat, and they were yeah. telling his widow that yeah, he he probably would have made it, but he he we pulled him out three times and he kept jumping. Back <laughs> <in>. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah. All right, so John is up by one now. Mm-hmm. Um, next one, the word Pez comes from the German word for what? Peznable. Peznable? Pezen- actually, I don't have the original German word, but I actually think that's not that far probably off from it. But I was saying comes from the German word for what? It's peppermint. Uh, so apparently Pez, the actual candy, was invented in Austria. Yeah. And uh, yeah. so the word, actually, I believe there were peppermint candies. And then when they came here, they're like, that's not kid friendly enough. And they just like made it super fruity and all sugar. Rumple mints. <laughs> Rumple mints do mints? not sound like something I would no. want to eat. No, that, that? that's not kid friendly. It's. Rum- what? Rumple mints. I don't know what, what you're talking those? about. What is that? It's a peppermint schnapps. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm okay with that now. I'd be okay yeah. with that. Yeah. Nice to have I, I'd bring it, but it's a uh, hundred proof. Oh. So. Oh, no, you well, you you know, oh, is that the South Park ones they drank? Maybe. When Cartman took everybody on a crusade to take back the White House? Maybe. Phillips, oh, that might have, Phillips no, that was peppermint Phillips. schnapps that was is Phillips. better than I feel like Rumble South Park's went on long enough now that you could literally mix any sur- assortment of nouns and they've probably done it. Like, no, Carter um, went to take over the White House. Yeah, that sounds like a South Park thing. Isn't that Remember the, the one where they started guys. shooting Somali pirates? Oh, yeah, no. I remember that one. Wasn't that the one with the... <laughs> They had the summer camp for the mentally disabled kids, and then they had the mafia boss just try to take it over. Like, yeah, I remember that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I actually like can't it. tell if you're being real or not. Oh, yeah, yes. Both of those are real. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. So, sense. Kyle, I've got your questions. So, John is up by one. You need to get one of these right. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe you can. I tried to pull some ones that weren't so difficult. <laughs> what is a crayon made out of? <laughs> 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 a human flesh. <laughs> How many corners does a square have? No. Um, Four. No. So the pilgrims would have landed in Virginia, but stopped at Plymouth Rock instead. What was the reason? Uh, because they ran out of water. No oh, beer. They ran out of beer, Kyle. It's That's I ran out of beer. So actually, when you started saying ran out of them, like, holy crap, he's going to know this? But no, no. I But beer. like they had <laughs> beer that was flavored like water, right? <laughs> Water right. flavored beer? Yes. No, that's not a <laughs> thing. This is water. It was a very low proof beer. It was technically that's water. That's light beer. Yes. And that wasn't invented until like the 70s. Water. It was water once, right? Yes. That's I would. I, and I, it will I, be again. I would have said cider, but I at, it, halfway Cider's through, so halfway wrong. through, I remember that they actually had a uh, a cider screw, like a cider press screw, as a ballast within part of the ship of the Mayflower. Because that's what they brought over. They were expecting to make cider on the mainland, but that was like they that's didn't, probably why they, they stopped. Didn't, they didn't because oh, they, oh, they they needed know. the apples. But the, because they, I, I didn't say cider because they didn't. Cider is not sea portable. Beer obviously is, but more no. more grog. Grog is more than than beer. But yeah, you're still wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least make me sound smart before I'm wrong. No, or after I'm your wrong. Your ex- extraneous. Je- uh, addition gets you zero points now. Yeah. So Yay. okay. Uh so your next question. What is the name of the bean sculpture in Chicago? The bean. That would be the worst question ever asked. <laughs> I thought that was a All good right. question. All right, Kyle, whose name is Kyle. What is your name, Kyle? <laughs> it's the bean. <laughs> no, it is not a capital bean. Mm. It is Cloudgate. That's dumb. It sounds, yep, that's why it's the way everybody calls it the bean, because it's better and funnier. So you mean I wasn't wrong culturally? Uh, you were correct in every wrong way. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Um. So uh, your last question, what civilization worshipped a great bird named Quetzalcoatl? The Aztecs. There yep. you go. So you are tied with John. I don't have a tiebreaker question. Except so we're, that wasn't a bird. It, it, it wasn't, no. It was birdish. It was a feathered serpent. You got yeah. it right. It was yeah. a snake with feathers. You got it right. I know what you meant, but yeah. No, Kyle got it right. right. Your question was wrong. Yes. Well, okay. You one... get negative one point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you lose. Negative you one point. Lose. For the first time in five episodes, he is but, down points. Yes, but you all would have points and I wouldn't. That's the point. But I yeah. know the actual correct answer on all these, which means that technically I'm going to end this with like 24 points. No, you only get points on your turn. You don't get a turn. You haven't got a turn. You're, you're playing off the rules. Yeah. 
You have all the smugness of Alex Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> and none of the mustache. All and right. None of it. Uh -oh. So, Michael, double jeopardy. Uh oh. Uh, your okay. first question. It's going to be about nuclear physics. Uh, the Scottish have more than 400 words and expressions for what? Water? Um, no. Uh, but it is snow. A different no. form of water. Uh, You're wrong. Water. Which, no. Snow is water. <laughs> no. Yes. So is snow, snow is. Beer is water then. Beer it has more things in it besides water. What does snow have in it besides water? Cold. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a thing. It has a temperature change. Cold Michael. is a thing, Michael. Yeah, yeah, I, snow, I'm fine. I'm going to consider I got it right. Okay. <laughs> you can do that. Well, you okay. can do that. Right. Mr. Negative one point here will tell you you're wrong. <laughs> well, live, live your own life, Michael. Yes. That's, that's fine. Wait, since you two live together, you can share your negative one point. Yeah, Wait, we which could. is I want to make which one's the sad one? Oh, that one's <laughs> that's fine. Two negatives is a that's positive. That's the one. Yeah. The, so that is, that is the audience take on that. No, it's you could say snow is a, is a form of water, mm -hmm. but you're not going to go and drink a cup of snow. You're going to drink a cup of water. I'm going to drink snow next year. Well, what's and a snow cone? This year. It's not a water cone. It's a snow. It's a cup of snow. Yeah. And you drink yeah. it. Don't help him. You don't really don't. You do not drink a snow cone. How do you do that? You wait. Well, then it's not <laughs> snow. Wait, by the time it goes down your throat, it's water. You're sucking the syrup out of it. No, it's not. Because then it's not snow. It changed into something else. It changed into water. It was always water. So, so is, <laughs> so it, no, it should have, it always has been. Wait, Michael, is ice cream the same thing as cream? Yes. <laughs> That's why, well, like, if you melt the ice cream in any bowl, is it not still ice cream it's soup? It's ice cream soup. Yeah, it's, but that's, yes. it's, yeah, but liquid, it's not cream soup. Liquid it's not or cream soup. <laughs> what if you it's freeze, not ice anymore. What if you freeze milk? Then throw it out. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's fair. <laughs> All right, Michael. Your second question. An affogato is an Italian dessert of coffee and what ingredient? Marmalade. Marmalade? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Coffee and marmalade sounds pretty good, though, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, Mar yeah, maybe. No, it sounds awful. No, it sounds awful. Why yeah, would you does. say that? Marmalade? I wanted to agree with you. Coffee and marmalade. That's all I can think Orange? of is marmalade. Orange all marmalade. Why? You're stuck about ice cream. I'm not. I got, I got sweets on the brain. Well, and I was kind of concerned because you guys were just talking about the answer literally five seconds before it. Snow cone. It was ice cream. Yeah, it was yeah. ice cream. <laughs> oh, ice cream. And yeah. I thought you would have that on your mind and just said ice cream. And I'm like, nope. no, Michael can't get this one. Okay, um, so good. your last question, your only chance I to mean, get debatable. this, and I've actually been considering that every time we go around that I would take a couple questions that you had the previous week and just put them back in the same thing just to see <laughs> if you would actually remember the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. Um, or if you even catch that I did it. So, um, but this one, what do you call a group of ferrets? A posse? Business. It's a business. It's a business. I don't know. I want to see them in little suits and ties. I do too. Yeah. But they are not a, they could, you know, if they're a posse, they'd be suits and ties with baseball bats. Yes. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The Yakuza. Yep. Like Yakuza sure. ferrets. Yakuza Ta I should ferrets. have tattooed up ferrets. I f well, that'd be adorable <laughs> because if they wouldn't be tattooed. They have little henna on all their little fuzz. <laughs> It'd be great. They'd be, a, they'd be so cute. The cutest Yakuza. They bite you though. Yeah. They bite you really hard. All right. So if for this one, we don't have a clear winner, but we have a clear loser. It was you. He had negative one point. Yeah, he did. He got. He but is a clear loser. But yeah. no, I don't count because I didn't play. You did. You guys know. You, you guys, guys just. Play. No, you guys just said that I can't win because I'm not playing. You 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 played. You the just. Game. I'm going off your rules. You had a question <laughs> that was wrong. You're the yes. one who made the game. Yeah. Technically, you make the, the rules. The question is, you given a question, you have to get the answer right. There's nothing that says about getting the question wrong itself wrong. You're fired from Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. It's, <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. We'll we'll get like Drew Brees to take over or something. Fell off the map. So so the next part here uh, for anybody that's a channel supporter on either Twitch or on Patreon. I've asked some questions on Discord, which is a special chat that they have access to and in the morning. And I have a couple questions that were asked for the group here. Uh -huh. So the first one I have is from Silver. And she asks, if you won $10 million tomorrow, what would you spend it on? My, my college tuition. <laughs> well, then you'd have nothing left. I'd have like at least 967425 it's not one million, it's ten million. Ten million. 
10 million. 9 million. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just round it to 9 College, million. then a house, and then fun things, and then put it all into a Swiss bank account. So well, a Swiss bank account, you wouldn't increase it. And why would you have to hide it? Why are you hide? What if you, you, you gotten this money? Wait, did I get this money legally or not legally? Well, no context. So let's say, well, being you just got it tomorrow and you have no idea where it came from, I'm actually unsure. Uh, it's a dead uncle. It's a, a dead uncle. Dead uncle. Yeah. That's that's different then. Uh, you have to um, spend a night in a haunted house, but uh, after that, you get ten oh, yeah. million dollars. And uh, you played the squid game. Uh, the way uh, the way I would do it is I would probably take one million of it to do. Uh, pay off the house or buy a different house and like whatever with that and then invest every other bit of it because $9 million on a, uh, a 10% yearly return is more than my income, which means mm -hmm. that I now off of just that money can live without a job and get a normal income for good. Yep. I think we're not living up to the kind of spirit of this question. So if you had to spend one, like a Brewster's million situation where at least 1 million of that had to be spent, mm -hmm. not on current bills, but you just had to spend that 1 million mm -hmm. in a year, what would you just splurge on? I would eat every single meal at Salt Bay's restaurant in New York City. <laughs> I would make that motherfucker <laughs> buy the me of sandwiches and all of the steak buy every and all of the booze. Why? You're the only one sitting in it. Yes. Like, yeah, exactly. Salt Bay is like, you, I own you. <laughs> I paid for you. <laughs> and then he'd feed me steak. I kind of want to see, like, Michael's would be that he would be on, like, Match.com and his profile's text would just be, I have $10 million. Yeah. <laughs> I would get so many. Great. The only yeah. thing I can think to do is to get those little, like, swirly fish cakes for my instant ramen. And then I'm like, oh, those are yeah. expensive. Yeah, yeah. like, you, you get the, the instant ramen's cheap, mm -hmm. but those little fish cakes, those are they're they're pretty expensive. Money. Actually, they're not $10 million expensive, but they're pretty expensive. I'll figure out. I'll get lots He'd of them. buy 10 million of them. So if, yeah. if I had to just spend the money on something, uh, I would actually probably buy a seat on one of the rockets to go up to space for like a day. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because that it wouldn't it, it would be relative for that. You affordable. You are, you are making it up there for $10 million. No, you're no, I think you can. I can't remember the cost, uh, but not on Jeffrey Bezos's penis rocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd have instant buyer's remorse. Like, oh, that was nauseating. The stars are pretty, though. Guess I'm out of money. <laughs> um, it's like, are you looking at how much it costs? Keep a Virgin, for a so sandwich. for a trip on Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 or Blue Origin New Shepard, seats typically are 250000 to 500000 They don't go to space. No, but they go up high enough to get in the zero G and see the curve. That's all I really care about. Yes. I mean, I'm not going to say, like, send me to the sun. <laughs> yes. That's Kyle's thing. Put put me on the penis yes, and send yes. me to the sun. No, no. Actually, I take it back. I take it all back. I'll spend every last penny on that ten million dollars to fire my dead corpse into the sun. Because <laughs> hey, you... it'll probably cost about that much. Is are, are you going to be dead with this? You like okay? No, yes, I'll I'll be dead by that. You, point, yes. you, no, you sepaku. Like, well, he's eating so yeah, much salt on, on the way to <laughs> so much salt. <laughs> I, it's <laughs> only fifty percent of a lethal dose. I shouldn't have had seconds. You guys are on that bias remorse. So I'm just gonna have. Tons of fish cakes. I'm gonna buy an island. Uh, not for ten it's not, No, you probably could actually. There's a lot really? of small little islands out there, but there's who who sells it to you? Like the ocean government. Yeah, the mermaids. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, because there, there's a the thing about like I think uh, um, is it film theory did a thing about that. Like, but yeah, there is like you can buy an island, but who do you get it from? It's like somebody has to have ownership. Of it. owner. Yeah, but who's the God? Like, what do you mean? No, there are people who own islands. Yes. I'm going to go to the one of them and say, I have money. Can I have your island? There's and if they say no, I go to the next person yes. who owns an island. I, I feel like there is an island out there that nobody owns, but a government has technicality rights over so that they can, after you pay them. Well, like Johnny Depp the hasn't had a movie in a while. He owns an island. I want to. It's I, true. He does. I want to see that John like goes up to an island. Is like, I have money. Can I buy this? And then the Australian government's like, No, you cannot buy Australia. <laughs> you can't buy us. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> then he looks at Australia. No, then I go to the next one. Just <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> yes, New Zealand. You've got two of them. Can I have one? Yes. I like. I like the image of just a random yank. <laughs> Sailing up on a boat to Australia. I mean, like, ten million dollars. I'll buy this hellhole. They're like, what? No, you can't buy Australia. And they're just like, what? This place is awful. Why do you want? It? Uh, uh, fine, I'll try to buy Ireland then. 
You just show up to an island, put a flag down with your face on it, like, I claim this land <laughs> in the name of John. Like, sir, please leave. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do on my island. <laughs> do you have a flag? Yes. We oh we actually have you like, took it down. A flag. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, so uh, for the next one, uh, Warhorse asks, what's one thing you cannot live without? Air. Booze. Mm-hmm. A beating okay, heart. Well, John, I like how I actually did the, the, the million dollar question as I really would. And then you're like, no, let's take it to the heart of the question on this one. You won't take it <laughs> It's a Warhorse question. I can BS him. Oh, yeah, okay. that's true. Touche. Um, no, if I had to think about like something that I if I do without, if we were to suddenly disappear, um, if it depends on how broad or specific to be, but if I kept it broad, electricity, like it feels like that would be life would be hard. Like my job wouldn't exist. Nothing I do. We wouldn't be. We'd be doing this in the dark corner of, of a small coal building. We just drink more. Um, until we but then it would be warm anything. booze. Yeah, we drink enough to, of it that it doesn't matter oh, yeah. until our livers fail. And then we don't care about anything anymore. Hey, you just stick it outside. It's fine. It's how our mm-hmm. forefathers yeah. lived. But I if, couldn't I couldn't do without connection with you, with all of you Aww. and all of my friends. You know, Aww. you're right here. You could well, still. That's not no, right. no, that's <laughs> right. There we go. Yay, wait, no, that was. No, you <laughs> that got, sounds like they're one. clapping for the people who are laughing. You got yeah. rid of the full house <laughs> theme song. No, I, it's just a ding now. <laughs> dun, 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 yeah, I don't remember dun, that song. Dun, 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 um, dun, dun, dun. No, if I had to pick a small thing, though, I'd put like tater tots. Like, it really? would suck if tater tots didn't exist. You could eat other forms. Oh my of god! Tater. What, uh, no, but tater browns. tots are awesome. Oh my god! If onions didn't exist, oh, that everything would be ruined. Yeah. Oh, that would be tough. All Wait. of the good food would be ruined. Like, what's that kind of onion that's not an onion? That's no, like, no, all shallots. Shallots? Uh, shallots are onions. That, sure. Are they? Well, yes. They're, are they're, leeks onions? They're like a flavor they're not onion. onions. Well, then shallots aren't onions. I, I, I no, consider a big chunky onion is like where you want to eat the onion. Well, the, uh, the shallots or the, the green onions are about, I want to add the flavor and this like robustness. Of yeah, but onion. a leek yeah. is just a really thick shallot. Michael one time bought a leek. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And all he bought it for the sole purpose of putting it under the sink to have me go there and say there's a leek under the sink. And then he threw it away. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it would be a really funny joke. I You're like, it. quick, there's a leak under the sink. And he came into the kitchen and he was like all concerned and like already working no, out the issue. No, I, I get it. And kudos to you. That's a good use of your money. But then why did you throw it out? <laughs> I didn't have any use for it. It's a leak. <laughs> you cook food. It's food. <laughs> It's delicious. <laughs> the purpose of leaks is to make dumb jokes. That's why they exist. A loop da loo, a lick da lee, a libby 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 da lee da lee. The, uh, yeah, the, I just remember that because I, I was looking under the sink and it literally was sitting there, but I just, I didn't even like look at it. I'm like, I don't see anything. And he was like, huh? <laughs> it's leak. <laughs> and I'm still like concerned. And it's from that moment on that I lost all respect that I had for him. <laughs> oh, see, it oh look. It. Um, Oh, you guys are spilling more. Yeah, this thing, this is just, the whole table's just going to be a stain. Social Bull Cider Works is terrible at bottling their own cans. Well, they over bottle it. So, um, okay, so we got that one. So uh, we still got like about probably 10 more minutes here. So um, uh, the Bus Filming Pwn asks, what is the one thing you would wish other motorists would do on the road? Get out of my way. <laughs> I wish they would just drive not the speed limit, but the speed everyone else is. Um. Uh. Well, yeah. I, or take their turn. Patience. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I like the the get out of my way, pull over when yeah. I'm getting near. Stand I don't like the zipper I well, don't, I think it the zipper merge is fine. It, it, it works, if but if you've it. seen for like right lane closed, right lane closed, right lane closed. Yeah, I'm just going to zipper merge after I've passed this line of 30 cars. That's what you're supposed to do, technically. That's when you that's when you block that person. It's The lane's there. You should use it. But most people don't want to deal with it. And there are certain times, like 94, uh, when it goes east and west, we're going 394 east in, in Minneapolis area here, that everybody backs up a, like a mile before at times to get this exit. And then there are people that try to do it last minute. But at that point, you're actually stopping in the middle of traffic, not on an empty lane. And it's there's been plenty of times where I I think Michael was with me once that I we were on our way downhill and I had to slam on the brakes and lock the tires up as we're going downhill and hopefully not hit somebody. 
mm-hmm. because somebody decided last minute, oh, there's a spot, and they slam on their brakes when they're going 60 down the freeway. Driving with you is fun. That's well, scary. I didn't have a choice on that one. What else was I going to do? Just <laughs> You know what? Maybe maybe if I turn just right, Michael can just go <laughs> right, out, right out the side door. Yeah, out the out the windshield. Oh, at the windshield. Out the side door. I mean, uh, maybe I can open it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could probably insert like a little like like shoots the door. Yeah, open. Ejector seat. Maybe yeah. shoot him out the sideways. How from much the car? does an ejector seat cost? Probably a lot. At least yeah. at least ten thousand dollars. How much? How well, much you, does it cost to replace? Well, now I know what to probably do. Probably more with than ten thousand dollars. I know what to do with my ten million now. <laughs> yes. Just build an ejector a, seat into every car you own. Yeah. When Michael starts talking some shit. Well, just I'm, shoot him out the side of the vehicle. No. So if um, you have an ejector seat, you've got one for the passenger, but do you have two in the back, three in the back, or just one in the back? You have um, two. Well, Safety. Well, it, d- it depends, because if you have three in the back, then somebody in the middle is going in a very weird trip. No, if they're in the middle, they know what's they, they know what's They're up. already going out the windshield. Yeah, so. they know what's yeah. up. I, I am fairly... They're good. being ejected. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they the windshield. <laughs> they don't even need the seat. It's, it's just like, through the... You just break. Yeah. It's buy four, get one free, and you didn't even know it. I am fairly convinced you don't let me drive most places because you think I drive like an old lady. No, I don't let you drive places because every time we do, no matter what it is, it's about like... You, ha- you have to like... Watch the GPS because you have no idea where we're going. Well, Even that, if you've been there a hundred times. That and you're afraid of snow. <laughs> that's now, I, I don't like driving on snow. If it's if there's snow on the roads, I'll let somebody else drive if it's an option we for had to, sure. I think on the way back from the Mall of America last time, we had a little bit of snow on the road. And he was like clenching the entire time. And I'm like, it's all melting as soon as it hits the road. He's yeah. like. <gasps> Not on the way. bridges. The bridges were fine. Yeah. They were a little. We have DI. So I'm the one driving and you're telling me what the roads felt like. <laughs> <laughs> there, I can see there is a little bit of buildup on the. Nifty. On the yeah. Yes. <laughs> Bridge. So uh, next question uh, mm. from Nightmation. What's the best road trip you've gone on? I actually can answer this one. Really? Anytime we go to Cider Fest. Like I, there's just something about just having a bunch of nerds in a car, just like talking crap and like singing weird whatever songs and just saying anything because we're all locked in a car. It's actually a lot of fun. Cookie Factory. Cookie, mm. cookie Factory. The other way to that, Chicago? Yeah. No, the way to Milwaukee. Oh. Uh, on the, yeah, to yeah, stopping yeah. at the Cookie Factory? That, it, is that is part of the... We only trip. did that one time, yeah. right? That was the I one time I was there. I wasn't um, even there that time. No, yeah. There were, I think it was one of the first times we went there. Yeah, we stopped. I think it was in Black River Falls or something. I've always wanted to do that more, but we always leave so late that doing it yeah. is kind of an hour extra to the trip. But yeah, it's uh, there's a place. You only can go there Monday through Friday, 8 to 4 a.m. Or 8 to 4. 8 to 4, uh, to 4 in the end. <laughs> yes, they're only open until 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> it's fresh cookies. Um, no, they're and they big, you can get it by right from the factory, but it's like an hour and a half from here, so there's no way to do it during the week. But when you're on the way uh, past, and no, there's some fantastic cookies. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I want to. I've been wanting to do that since, but we'd have to leave at like nine, ten in the morning, make sure we get there in time. But it's super cheap cookies. My favorite road trips are always the one where I'm flying over the road in a plane and looking down at all the plebeians who are forced to drive long distances. Um, it's my favorite. Uh huh. You're, you're slammed in the tiny little seat, middle seat between two people that apparently haven't learned of the invention of soap. Yeah. So <laughs> you're getting rid of the road and eliminating as much of the trip as possible. Exactly. Well, no, it, flying is you're only limiting the trip once you're on the plane. But there's like yeah. two to three hours of all the other stuff you need to do because you need to still take the trip to the airport. You got to get through security. Then you got to sit there and wait. And then you get confusion of when am I going to get on? And then when you get on, you got to wait there for like 30 minutes before you even go anywhere. And then when you you get get off, you have to figure out what your transportation is there because you don't have a car. Yeah. So that's why you drink like as soon as you get into the airport. So that you get off the plane drunk and you have no idea where you are. Yes. (laughs) Planning. You can set up the Uber before you get there. Right. Um. So yeah, the, I we don't I don't think we've really taken other than for the conventions much longer road trips at least as a group. Um, I'm trying to think like uh, I mean I've went to Ute, uh, Wyoming and uh, once on a road trip and then like Yellowstone on a road trip with my family, but I wouldn't say those are really uh, entertaining because as, as a family there's very different interests, not as much conversation that goes on. Yeah, I've had a um, bunch of road trips to Montana and Yellowstone, mm-hmm. Grand Tetons, Bad uh, Bear Tooth Pass. Half of the trip is just boring because you're in Deco- North Dakota. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, the eastern half of North Dakota is not a good time. Yeah. You don't even have corn to look at. It's just... <laughs> it's not even like Iowa. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like you're in a plane, but yeah. there's nothing to see. 
Yeah, I understand that. But the other half, you got the Black Hills, you got Devil's Tower, Pompey's Pillar, if you want to drive out of your way to nowhere. But you can actually look at stuff out the window. Mm-hmm. Mm. That actually uh, reminded me there was one trip. I went out to Connecticut a couple of times because I was dating a girl that was out there. And uh, I ended up, I stopped in like a rest stop in, I think, like early right inside Pennsylvania for the night. Just like put a pillow over, over my head and then like just slept there for like five hours. But then I ended up getting up in the morning right at the beginning of the Appalachian Mountains. And it was like the crack of dawn and everything had like the dew over it. It had a bright orange, like yellow sunrise coming up over the Appalachians, clean roads, nothing around. Gorgeous. It was one of the best drives I've ever had through there. Even going back another year, like a couple months later, it was snowing through there and it was covered with ice, which is kind of dangerous. But the entire forest was just looked like an ice sculpture from, from as far as the eye could see, it was not just snow, it was ice. And all the low sun, like glistening off of all of it, it looked like the entire forest was on fire. And like stuff like that is definitely cool. I, I woke up one time in the Smokies and watched a bear go through a trash dump first thing in the morning. <laughs> so that was fun. That was about the same thing as what you just described. <laughs> that, was, that bear was my uncle. Okay. <laughs> when, you, when you say a trash dump... Like one of the big trash, like, uh, like a dumpster, like a dumpster. Okay, a dumpster. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. No, he, no, was, he had a whole bunch he, of white gas. Yeah. He wasn't, he wasn't. Did what bears do in the woods. Yeah. He, he wasn't sleeping at a dump. He was just near a dump. Oh, it was kind of near a dump. Yeah. I'm thinking of like, trash dump. was it the, from Christmas vacation when like the guy's out there and he's like, shitter is full. <laughs> oh, like yeah, that's going, going, making it radioactive in the sewers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for the next question here, we have Jurassic asking, what is the longest you have left Christmas lights or trees up for? I'm actually studious. It's about two, three weeks. Yeah. I, sometimes I don't even put anything up. Like normally I would have had stuff up by now, but I haven't really, uh, just been too busy with other stuff. Um, but I, I think the most I've ever done is like a couple weeks. Usually by that point, I want to get rid of it because now we're in like the, the annoying part of winter and I just want to make sure it's as annoying as possible. I've had that Christmas derpy hanging up on the uh, dragon downstairs all year. So <laughs> mm-hmm. that you had one, okay, one, one small order. little thing. Uh, it's not just me at Christmas. When I lived by myself, I never put up anything. So when I lived with my parents, it was always everything's up on Thanksgiving and everything comes down on New Year's. So mm-hmm. yeah, and that's way it really should be. Uh, nothing should be up before Thanksgiving. Uh, unless you're in some other country, there's got to be some kind of uh, time because anything before then, like if it's Halloween and you're like, well, why not just do I'm going to be Santa Claus for Halloween? No, that's wrong. It's a bad outfit. It's bad clothes. It's about Santa Claus with things. Mm-hmm. John, you don't do you even do any decorations or anything? I have a candy cane tube that I got from buying a whole bunch of fireball. I remember I've, that. And mm-hmm. I've just got it stuffed with uh, string Christmas lights. Perfect. That, that's perfect. And that's, that's, every Christmas, I just plug that in and stick it in the corner of the room. <laughs> so holiday, holiday chip, Merry Christmas with yep. uh, the, with the whiskey lights. Yep. I don't have a fireplace. What am I decorating? Mm-hmm. It's not like I've got Christmas trick or treaters. Oh, there ain't no Santa coming down my fireplace. Uh-oh. Gas. Yep. But uh, all right. Uh, so Null and Void asks, "What's your favorite Thanksgiving food?" Well, this is topical. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, um, this is to us uh, actually. Uh, for us, it's still not Thanksgiving. So, uh, actually when this one comes out. Yeah. Um, but, uh, cause it's in a couple of days here because I know I can say mine is my, my mom would make, um, it's this cheesy potato dish. She would like cube all the potatoes with onion and this cheese. And she would put like some breadcrumbs across the top. And it was, I don't know what she puts in that thing, but it's like potato crack. So, and the, is, mm-hmm. so cubed and not like the sliced thin ones. No, no, not the scalp. Or whatever, it's au gratin. Au gratin. Or- yeah, au, it's not au gratin. Oh. It's cubed, uh, cubed potatoes. It's just like an onion and a, I don't know what else sauce is, but it's kind of like a thin cheese. Cream sauce, just yeah, melted cheese. cheese sauce. It's definitely a sticky cheese. Like it yeah. stays all sticky, but then it has like more cheese on top, and it has like the the crunchy breadcrumbs on it. Yep. And it is, oh, it's so good. And that is one of my favorite dishes that I'll see. If it's there, I will have a th- about a third of my plate will just be that. Mm. I think it's my my uh, family's turkey stuffing. Which is, mm. and it's for my grandmother's recipe, obviously, but there's like cranberries in there and there's like whole wheat bread and it's, it's so good. I don't know. I don't, 
even remember how my mom does it, but it's so, so good. Mm. For me, it's like Argo, it's the potatoes, but it's the lumpy mashed potatoes with gravy, just the just yeah. the, making the pool and just... And with the skin of the potatoes in there, mm. right? Yes. Yeah. It has yes. to have skin of the potatoes, yeah. Has yeah. to have lumps, too. Yeah, so yep. like not overly beaten. I actually have a quick story on that. So with the like, sour cream in them. Um, I mm-hmm. get, there was one time when I was, uh, like, years and years ago, I was with my grandma at our house, and... Um, my dad was ma- going to be making the mashed potatoes, but I guess he couldn't, there was not enough time or something. So he didn't mm. stir them. He pulled out like the, like the electric beater mm. and he went oh, yeah. way too long. Oh. And so it it's ended so up f- just being foam. And oh, it, no. it was, what? it no. was, it was essentially foamy mashed potatoes. And so we make fun of him constantly for this <laughs> because it is the complete opposite of lumpy. It was literally like, if you were to like the beer, like cut the foam off the top, that was the potatoes. <laughs> I'm forgetting what the name of it, but that's there is awful. a potato soup, which is basically what he just made. Yeah. Maybe that's what he should have done. He just made potato soup. Yep. You know, and uh, the video games where they're like, he will remember that. I'm just remember that none of you said what I just made. <laughs> well, yeah, we just our it. favorite uh, thing is the thing I made yeah. today. Well, yes, we're right. going to discount our family, and oh, this yes. is what I've had every year yes. made by my mom. Yes, your stuffing was no. better than my grandmother, who's been dead for a decade. <laughs> your mothers and grandmothers have nothing on my stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, if I had to say one thing, I eat the heck out of is some corn pudding. Yeah, That's I don't a, know if I've ever really had corn pudding. Next year. Yeah, you I've didn't had, make it this time. Yeah, legitimate there was corn too much other food. Yeah, there was a lot of food. We had corn pudding down in Fort Benning. We should have made some corn. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. We the, that sounds like a southern the, food. It, yeah, it is. But the uh, the ladies down there at the DFAC, they gave us a huge tub of it. Mm. So Corn pudding is good. All right. Uh, so then the last question I have here is from Sir Edward. Uh, what's the nicest thing a complete stranger did for you? Hmm. That's actually a tough one trying to think. I mean, there's been t- definitely times where somebody has come up and like, uh, like I was at um, uh, a gas station not long ago to get a coffee and there's a lady in front of me making a more complicated like purchase and like going through like a lot of tickets and like tobacco stuff. And she just turns around. She goes, is that all you're getting? I'm, she's like, I'm like, yeah. She goes, I'll grab this coffee too. You can go. And like just something like that. It's just like, hey, I'm holding up the line and she would just not didn't want to like that to me. It is super, super cool. I, the cost isn't the thing is. She was going to take a while and she understood that. So she just picked it up for me. So stuff like that's cool. Mm. Um, so this is going to sound funny, but uh, letting me into the country. What? <laughs> so <laughs> well, that sounds like yeah, that's, that's yeah. a story about that one. So I was on a school trip in Europe and I came back, but I had lost my passport. I don't know where, but I just didn't have a passport and I was coming back into the country and there was the guy checking the passports in the U.S. So I walked up to him and I said, um, yeah, uh, I, I don't have my passport. I lost it. I, I have this photocopy. Um, is that good enough? And he just dead faced looked at me and didn't say anything <laughs> for like a mm-hmm. solid 30 seconds. And I'm I'm I think I'm like 15 or 16. So like first time that I'm kind of going through Mm -hmm. the airport alone and just, when is he going to start laughing? (laughs) (laughs) And he finally didn't, he waved me on, but just that moment of just, yeah, yeah, you can go. Will you be a he wasn't he was an asshole, but he could have been an actual asshole. Yeah, well, I yeah. like I'm like I got a free coffee, and you're like I got into the country. <laughs> yes. I was kind of being an illegal alien for a moment. Yeah, I didn't uh, get detained sorry. at all. Just thirty seconds of sweating and yep. t- wishing that I had not screwed up somehow in my at, past. At least he didn't look in my socks. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Kyle, do you have anything? Well, I mean. Um, is and this is coming just from me me as a person myself um i i have gotten a couple of uh, like just this even this last drill i had somebody pay for my lunch while i was in uniform and it was like mm. uh, it's one of those things that i uh, i respect people for doing very very much I, I personally i know it's a very kind gesture um i i i don't do it for obviously for anything but but myself and uh, the service that i want to do but like having somebody just walk up and be like no i'm going to pay for your meal Mm-hmm. It's like something that's 
so absolutely humbling it's kind of like hard to actually deal with well, it's almost as much of a value to you as it is to the person doing it because they, they feel like they can't do too much and that's something they can't yeah do. Exa exactly so like it's, it's one of those things that it's it's very hard to emotionally like comprehend that until you're in that in that sort of a position and and for me personally it's like it's it's obviously not a thing that i would uh be like always be like oh, comfortable with happening but like it's 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 always a very humbling experience with somebody doesn't like that so it's just it's uh, it's just the thing, I guess. Uh, Michael, did you have one? Yeah, I'd say letting me join them in a game of Legends of Equestria years ago. Oh, my sister. Well, it was really. I think I contacted you initially, and then I talked yeah. to your sister for the first time. And I was drunk as could be at the time. That's the only reason I even managed to ask. Mm -hmm. But no, no, that led to a lot of a lot of things, a lot of opportunities and things. If out. it wasn't for that moment, I would not be sitting here. Mm -hmm. so. Well, yeah, there's a lot of those types. I actually did think of another one that I had where uh, I was on my 21st birthday. I went up to Tower, Minnesota to a bar with my brother because uh, his brother's um, uh, friend or my brother's friend had an, his mother or his aunt had a cabin up there and he was a part owner. And so we went to a bar up there and we went to a uh, for probably like five hours and we went to the bar. My brother said, hey, it's his 21st birthday. They looked at the idea. They're like, sweet, happy birthday. And they just told him to give me whatever. Anything that they wanted from the bar, just the bartender to bring it. And so they just kept bringing me drinks. And at the end of the day, they started bringing me, bringing me different beers. I got super trashed that night. Figured out they didn't charge me anything. Mm -hmm. Like my brother says, yeah, they gave me the bill and they had nothing with yours on it. And I asked about it and they just waved it off. Oh, like completely trashed. Like there was probably nice. over well over $100 with the booze that I drank through that night. And they never charged me a dime. I've never been to that, that bar before. And they just were like, happy birthday. But we were um, playing like some of the games with the owner's wife and stuff. So I'm thinking like they're the people that could wave something off. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was that was and they didn't, they didn't ask anything. They didn't want to be a part of seeing it or anything. They just did it and said like, happy birthday. And that was cool. Because there's one thing nice, if you're yeah. doing a nice thing, but then you're like, hey, are you going to appreciate me? But no, they didn't, there was nothing. And that's a really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, does anybody have anything else? Are we... And it went good. I think that was not good. really. Okay, I think we gotta talk about the drink that John made earlier, though. Yes. So we, yeah, that it, we are at the end here. Uh, so we've covered just about every question I had. Actually, I covered every question people asked. Yeah, and we'd sure. like to cover the drinks that we had here. We've and got we, a wide variety of cans. Yes, we ranging do. from truly to mixed nuts to yeah, brewed in deep. Brewed Moose deep Lake. Company. Yeah, Moose Lake, uh, and the only unopened ones. Mm -hmm. So, but we have actually all drank this one hot drink that John brought and we, he was not going to tell us until the end. Yeah. So, so you said something, there was a brandy in there, but what's all in there? It's a hot toddy. Okay. Yeah. And a hot toddy could be brandy. It could be whiskey, but it's essentially just one glug of uh, liquor and then the rest is hot water, honey, and then spices. Mm -hmm. It's like a cold remedy. It's just something that feels warm and, uh, Let's see. What's it? I mean, it it was wonderful. Like it was, it was like sipping tea at them in the morning. Yeah, it was kind of yeah, like yeah. a tea. Yeah. There's the lemon for the vitamin C. There's the honey for the sweetness, and then there's the alcohol to just numb everything else. Get the pain. My soul. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Well, John, thank you for bringing. He always brings some of the weird yeah. ones. Thank you guys for all hanging out and watching. Uh, if you want to be part of answering some of these <laughs> yes. questions, uh, there is the opportunity on either on Patreon or Twitch. If you're a follower, then you can. Thank ask you for Discord. joining us on the Wiz. The Wiz. Are we just going to start calling it that now? No, no, we can't. No, okay. it's a joke. Good. And we, it's, we a, have, it's a running gag. And it's probably somebody else's name for something. And we just keep track. Or Jack, <laughs> yeah. John's just jacking it. So uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Uh, Michael, what is the word for today? Um, uh, piccolo Sunday. Piccolo Sunday? Piccolo, piccolo? You want to try to rephrase that one? No. Is that one? <laughs> <it's> <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Piccolo Sunday.